we're going to be investigating L'Hopital's rule a little bit more in this video, but we're going to add in something that's called logarithmic differentiation. So at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to apply L'Hopital's rule to functions using logarithmic differentiation. All right, we're going to just go ahead and jump right into an example, and this will be the only example in this video. It asks us to find the limit as x approaches 0 of x plus 1 to the 1 over x. So you'll notice if I went to plug in 0 right now, first of all, it doesn't really look like a L'Hopital's rule problem because there isn't a uh, function divided by a function, but it will be before we're done. Um, so if I went to plug in 0 at this point in time, I'd get 0 plus 1 to the 1 over 0. And notice when I do that, I get 1 to the 1 over 0, and that really just doesn't make sense because 1 divided by 0 is not really a defined number. So it doesn't mean that the limit doesn't exist. It just means that that was not a good way to go. So what we're going to do is something that is called logarithmic differentiation. So I'm going to start out by, by putting that y is equal to this limit. So y is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of x plus 1 over 1 over x. And then the reason that I did that, because if I turn it into the, an equation, I can do something to both sides of the equation without affecting the value of the problem. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. This is called logarithmic differentiation because I'm going to take the log of each side and actually I'll take the natural log of each side. So I'm going to put um, ln y equals the limit as x approaches 0 of ln of x plus 1 over to the 1 over x. All right, so I've done that. And now what I'm going to do, since the right, the left side, I'm just going to leave alone for quite a while. So just we'll keep that in mind that that is there. We'll just keep writing it along with us. But what I can do with this now is I can take that 1 over x, since it's attached to the ln and it's a power, I can move it out front. So this is really going to be the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over x ln x plus 1. And now we're almost set to do a uh, L'Hopital's rule problem because I almost have a fraction. If I just multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators, I'll be all set. So I'm going to have the natural log of y is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of the natural log of x plus 1 over x. Now notice if I go to try to plug in 0, and again, I'm just going to deal with the right side right now. So the natural log of y, if I go to plug in 0 right now, I'm going to get the natural log of 1 over 0, which would give me 0 over 0. And I did get an indeterminate form, which means that I'm allowed to use L'Hopital's rule. So I'm just going to put L'Hopital's rule right here. I'm not dealing with that left side right now. I'm going to find the limit as x approaches 0. The derivative of ln of x, over, x plus 1 would be 1 over x plus 1. And then over the derivative of x would just be 1. So now if I, and that simplifies to 1 over x plus 1. Now if I go to plug in 0, I'm going to get 1 over 0 plus 1, which equals 1. Okay, so this whole right side of the problem, I found out that the limit was 1. So now my left side said the natural log of y. On the right side, I have 1. So now... Since I was looking for this original limit, I'm actually looking for y. So what I'm going to do now to solve for y is just the logarithm loop. So I'm going to have e to the 1 is equal to y, which means y is equal to e. So my limit is e. So that's how you do logarithmic differentiation and L'Hopital's rule.